highly adored rugby player with a different agenda at home. So Mike got a chance to hook up with um, Biko Adema, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah, you know, I know you'd have loved that, huh? Yeah. You know, does he have muscles? Yeah, he does, but I have muscles too, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it was a really fun interview. We got to see him in a different light. Okay. You know, so that was really nice. Cool. Check it out. For the thrills, the spills, and of course, the action on the field. Rugby is a sport that has steadily gained fans with each passing year. It's not just a sport that makes crowds go wild, it's the players themselves. And which better player to get up close and personal with than Biko Adema? I have one bro, older brother. Um, yeah, so he's, the age difference is four years apart. And yes, it's, uh, both my parents uh, uh, live in Kenya, are still around, working here. I started playing rugby in 99, yeah, as soon as I was in uh, class 5. So yeah, by that time I was playing just for the junior team, that's when I picked it up. Uh, it was a new sport to me, but uh, I enjoyed it, yeah. Biko Adema is in the Kenya 7s team, which has reached the semi-finals of the Rugby World Cup twice in a row. I went to St. Mary's school. Biko Adema, he's on challenge, Biko Adema. This is what Biko's love of rugby is made of. So many games played, so many accolades achieved. One of our goals is actually to, to win a, one of the, uh, actually the series. Stars always get the strangest requests from fans. This is Biko's. When we're in these different countries, you'd find um, like some of the yeah, younger fans, you know, asking for maybe our training, our playing socks, you know, right after the game, or our shorts even. Sweaty. Yes, sweaty socks and the shorts, you know, after the after the games. Rolls it through. It takes a lot of discipline and commitment to get to this level. There's a lot of discipline involved. There's a lot of um, routine in terms of, you know, these days we wake up, we. We go online, every player has like an online um, database, you know. You, you go online, you, you have, there's a software where we log on to and we actually put in our details of how we're feeling that morning. So that's just an example, but also in terms of the pitch training, it's, it's very detailed in terms of we're trying to just fine tune the small detail. It is the ability to beat top teams like Zimbabwe, Tunisia, Australia, England and even New Zealand that has enabled the Kenya Rugby Sevens team to gain a massive respect. You need to have the basic skills when you're training with the Kenya Sevens team. There are certain things that will give you an, an advantage over the opposition when it comes to the contact area, yeah, especially the contact area, when it comes to uh, distribution of the ball around the pitch, you know, those are the kind of skills that they want us to realize and to, to see. He's on challenge, Biko Adema, the 21-year-old scampers home. Now I have to ask this, sir. Do you have a girlfriend? Yes, I do have a girlfriend. Biko likes to keep his style simple when he's chilling at home. We discovered that he also has an interest in producing music artists with the founding of the Safe House Records. We can say for sure. And that's not the only talent that he has. <laughs> I'm rusty, I'm rusty, man. <laughs> well, still a bit rusty on the trombone. Rusty or not, we salute this young man and the rest of the Kenya 7s team for taking the country to great heights in the international rugby scene. <laughs> 